Morning everyone, welcome to another glorious day in southwest France. Um, today's a bit of a mix and match day. We've got lots of stuff to be doing. I've got to bring a load of stuff back to the chateau from Villeneuve because uh, the mini digger's coming back tonight. Uh, I need it for a, a bit of a secret um, job that I'm doing for Chateau DIY. So the mini digger's coming back tonight and I've got to you know, move everything from Villeneuve that needs moving with a mini digger. So I've got a whip over there. But before I get going, you might just about see the mower in the background there. I've got a little bit of work to get going, um, to get Luca going on the cutting of the grass. Um, because we had the wild boar, it blunt, uh, it made our, um, our blades on the mower quite blunt uh, because of all the tufts of soil that we've been cutting through. So now all that's dealt with, <clears throat> we just need to sharpen the blades and I'm going to get Luca going on the grass cutting. So Anna's going to introduce you to Luca a little bit later. <music> bit of watching me sharpen blades. So you just saw me do one side of the blades. There is the other side of the blades to do. Um, the actual blade itself that cuts the grass is the top side on half of the blade and the bottom side on the other half. I'll show you now. So yeah, my dad just came along and told me that here, the blade is on the top side and I've sharpened the bottom, but because I've sharpened the bottom, still nice and sharp on the other side and then here the blades on the bottom side i'm i'm a bit lazy today and i don't want to have to take these off um i've not got the right tool for the job here so i mean it's sharp enough um but another day i'm gonna to have to take the blades off and sharpen this side here uh but yeah so you can see the difference this is before no real blade whatsoever there and this is after you can see you can probably cut yourself on that now um okay let's get the other side done I'm out of battery. Luckily I've got another one charging. Just thought I'd try to sharpen those blades on the other side uh, with the back side of this disc, but it's a bit too hard. So I'm just gonna leave it. I could do more damage than good.
that's fine it's just this one here I'm struggling with I've got to get uh, on on this here I'm gonna have to do it this way around it's just it doesn't move because it's got the gear connected I'm not gonna show you Luca yet but I need to give Luca another task to do Luca s'il te plaît uh, cherche une spatule pour enlever tout ça parce qu'il m'a dit que mulching mon père m'a dit que le mulching ça ne fonctionne pas bien si tu partout ouais, la truelle je te prends ça va comme tu veux c'est toi qui va faire hein? okay. ok so yeah I was just sending uh, Luca to get something to take all of this off here um, basically the mulching process doesn't work particularly well well, this is my dad told and explained this to me and um, basically the mulching deck won't work properly if you've got all this crud built up um, Cyril's obviously left this for 18 months um, it's not his fault he didn't have the time to clean it um, I know it sounds stupid not having the time to clean it but we're doing that much in summer uh, we never have the time so we're gonna clean that off I'm gonna finish this blade off as well so we're all done there. I'm just gonna go and give it a quick test, but I'll show you what, what, we've, what we've done. Just a quick clean underneath, just to get that grass off. That'll do for the time being, but we're gonna have to give it a good clean after. I've just spotted that at some time, Cyril's had a little problem here, so I just need to address that at some time too, because that won't help performance. And then all the blades have been sharpened. Like I say, it's sharp enough on that back edge, but probably not as good as it should be. And then this edge here is nice and sharp. So let's go try it out. So here we can see where I cut today. And you see yesterday, there's kind of like a, a bit of uh, pulling of the grass, which gives it that kind of yellow tinge, um, where the grass has been kind of pulled rather than cut. And then over here it's nicely cut. There is one problem though. Um, the big problem is that those blades are shot. They'll do for the time being, but they're leaving a little line, which means they're completely used. So I have to nip to Kubota and get some new blades. I'll do that another day, but that's good enough for Luca to give the grass a good cut. Over to Anna and she is going to introduce you to Luca. The time has come for you finally to meet Luca. Salut Luca! Bonjour. So he's just starting with us. Well, he's started already. It's been two good weeks now. Yeah, good enough for two weeks. He's done three weeks work in two weeks. Three. Ça fait le troisième là. Oui. Ouais, troisième week-end là. Ah, yeah, it's Déjà. three. Three. Ça fait vite, hein? It does go fast. Okay, let's get to work then. sunshine today. Ed is out there with Luca putting the olive trees at the back of the van and we're gonna take them back to the chateau because I want to use them over there but also they they're I mean I don't want them to be to stay here but I thought I would show you the progress in the guest apartment here. So the insulation has been done. Look at this. I don't know why that pink spot is there, but Ed must have his reasons. All insulated. And this is gonna make a huge, huge difference, noise-wise and also heating-wise. all of this it has advanced quite quite a lot inside there is also the insulation in the second bedroom here I know it only has the Veluxes but it still brings a nice light and this is gonna be the little pantry area but another nice thing that we're hoping to put up soon are these I'm gonna say windows, I mean glass windows, and then look at that double 
really, really nice double glaze. And these, that Ed's mom that brought over from England, they're gonna go in the little windows there. So at least it's gonna be all good and sorted here. Another thing that was like literally done just then is this the level here because when it was being poured it was a little bit well it's hard to do the all the levels right the cons consistency right as well because if there Ed wanted there to be a slope so the water would go into the grid there and there's no water going inside so that's why like parts like little bits like here have to be done by hand but this is nothing compared to the amount of work that has been done and look at that a beautiful concrete there Ed, what's up? Uh, back it, Anna. I've had enough. It's getting harder and harder as the days go on till the end of the to the end of the build. Your back is in bits. You haven't stopped. You were working on Sunday. You were working on Monday, Tuesday. You were working in the evenings. Last night you finished at 8 p.m. I think it's it's time to to say stop and take a break. Yeah, but. We've got the season coming up and we've got to get this finished before the season uh, before the season at the Chateau starts. But Anna, I've got to get the drive done. I, I, I haven't got much time left. Don't worry, Ed. Oh. Come on, because we have a few things to move as well. Yeah. We're yeah. getting rid of a few things that we don't need here anymore and we're going to take some of the chairs away. Yep, and I think we've got those uh, olive trees to plant back at the chateau as well. Yes, we do. All right, let's get them back for the time being and maybe plant them tomorrow. What do you think? Good idea. Let's go. So these are the chairs we're taking back to the chateau. Um, when we first bought the place, we asked the lady um, that sold us the chateau, the, this place, to uh, to leave us these chairs. Some of them are a little bit worse for wear, but. My dad will probably try a couple of good chairs out of them, won't he? Yeah, he'll try and fix them as much as he can. It's such a shame if we just had these top bits, he could fix them all, but they've gone. I know. With time, they've gone. So, let's get them back then. Come on. Anna. Well, we have filming scheduled with Shuttle DIY. Starting next week, yeah? Yeah. And then what? Then we're going to get a few things ready at the Shuttle, but then we're going to get going. And get on with the build, try and get it finished off before the, uh, before the season starts. Yes. I have my friend here there. There was no more space in the bag, so I have a little plant here with me. Let's go get these chairs off the back for my dad.
you doing, Cha Cha? Riding your bike? Can you see something there, Charles? Well, can I, I can only see a big flower. Yeah, it's an olive tree. Look, hmm. where's the ice cream? <laughs> what did you want ice cream? Yeah. After, I'll get you some ice cream. I don't know whether you remember, this was part of the well in Vienna and we're gonna use it, well we're using it already as a planter and we've put that, we've put there one of the olive trees and now we have another olive tree on this terrace and I think it's gonna grow nicely in there If you want to plant things in there, I'll keep it and we can plant flowers. Mm -hmm.